In this how-to, I'll be showing you how to install Task Force Radio to your TeamSpeak 3 plugins folder and activate it in TeamSpeak. Now, this is providing that you've already done Armor 3 Sync and have updated to the latest version, which you've already done the folders in your Armor 3 directory. So all you need to do is go to the link provided, again in the link description, which will be down at the bottom here. So this will be the link in the description. What you'll do is you'll be downloading a file, which will be this file here. Once you've done that, you just need to extract it. As you can see, now it's got everything here we need. Okay, so what we do is we just grab this file. Okay, we can uh, cut it, I guess. Uh, let's take it into our TeamSpeak 3 directory. Now, mine is in C drive, program files at TeamSpeak 3 client. Now, as you can see, you've already got a plugins folder here, so all you need to do is just go paste. And all it asks is, do you want to merge it with this one? You will just go yes, and that is it. Now, I'm not going to do it for mine, but all you do is you will click yes. That will do it for you. Alright, and once you've done that, go into your TeamSpeak 3, just as so, go up the top to Settings, go to Plugins, now you should have something here called Task Force Armour 3 Radio, it needs to be ticked, if it's not ticked, give it a tick, and just click Reload All, alright, that'll reload it for you. Once you've done that, you can check to see it's running by clicking on your name and seeing under group channel. You should have something saying Task Force Radio Status and it should have the version and it's running. If you've got that, it's all ready to go.